Hello everyone, so welcome to this example. So in this example we need to determine the area and the perimeter. They tell us that AEB is an isosceles triangle. What that means is that uh, these two lengths over here would be the same. So we could say that AB is equal to 5 centimeters. Why? Because it's given. They told us it's an isosceles triangle. So this will be 5 centimeters. Now, to work out the perimeter, it's going to be very easy. We know that ED is 2 centimeters. Why? Because it's a square. And BC is also 2 centimeters because it's a square. And so to work out the perimeter, you would just need the length on the outside. And so that would be AE, which would, so let's say here, perimeter is AE, which is 5, plus ED, which is 2, that's this part, plus DC, which is 2, plus CB, which is 2, plus AB, which is 5. And if we go work all of that out, we should get 16 centimeters. Now to work out the area, this is a very funny looking shape. And so we're not going to look at the whole shape at once. Instead, we're going to look at the uh, two separate parts. So there's a square, and then there is a triangle. Okay, now let's do the square first. Why? Because that's just super easy. So a square would just be 2 times 2. And so that's going to be, um, so let's put your area of square, which is 2 times 2. And that's going to be 4 centimeters squared. Now let's have a look at the area of the triangle, which we know is a half base times height. And we always say this, the base and the height must always be 90 degrees to each other. So the base of the triangle, we could take that as EB. And then which line would we use? Would we use AE, this line in the middle, or line AB? Well, well done to you if you said that it's the line in the middle. Why must it be the line in the middle? Because we said that the base and the height must always be 90 degrees with each other. Problem is, we don't know what that length is it's not going to be five so what we should see is that we could do the following we could for example look at this triangle over here and we know that that's a 90 degree triangle why because this is a straight line and if this one is 90 then this one is also 90 and we also know that this whole length is two okay so we know that this part over here would be half one centimeter and this part here would be one centimeter. How do we know that? Uh, technically, they would have had to tell us something like that in the exams. So it's not a really good question uh, the way that they've asked that. But we can see here that this is going to be one centimeter and one centimeter. So I'm going to work in the blue triangle and I'm going to do Pythagoras. Okay, but let me just draw that triangle a little bit better. It's so weird looking at it at that angle. So if this is 90, this is the side that we're looking for. This one here is five and this one over here is one. And so what we can say is that the, and I'm just gonna call this X. And so we can say that five squared is equal to X squared plus one. And so if we had to get the X squared alone, we would get X squared is equal to five squared minus one. And so X squared is going to be, well technically I should have said one squared over here, but one squared is just one. That'll give you 24. And so if you had to work out x by taking the square root, you're going to get 4,9 centimeters. 4,9 centimeters. And so now what we've just worked out is the height of this triangle. So we've just worked out this part here. And so that's going to be 4,9. So now we have the height of the triangles. And so the area of that triangle is going to be a half. The base length, we're going to use this full length over here, which is 2 centimeters. And then the height is going to be 4,9, 4,9. And if you had to go work that out, you would end up with 4.9 centimeters squared. And so to work out the total area of this entire shape, you would just say total area is going to be the square plus the triangle. And the square we already worked out was 4 centimeters plus the triangle is 4.9. And if you work that out, you end up with 8.9 centimeters squared.